Welcome to Contracting Conversations. My name is Jim Valley, and I'm joined by my co-host, Scott Williams. Today, we're continuing our conversation with Steve Milosevic, DAU's Learning Asset Manager for the Regression Analysis Course, CON 7410V. Hey, Steve. Thanks for joining us again today. Oh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk about the course. Great. So, Steve, what can you tell us about this course? Well, for starters, this is a very much an instructor-led course. So I don't want anyone to be concerned about having to learn these concepts on their own. We meet about four and a half hours a day, Monday through Friday. There's a short pre-course that will get you up to speed with some of the basic statistics using the Excel Descriptive Statistics add-on. Those statistics will be our first step in our discussion on regression. We'll talk about the right way and the wrong way to build cost estimating relationships, what people often call CERs or SERs. That discussion leads into our first regression technique, simple linear regression. It's called simple because we only use one cost driver. Students will use scatter plots and the Excel regression feature to model the data, assess goodness of fit, and identify outliers in the data. You start with the Excel application for regression. Then we introduce you to some templates that we created to do some of the heavy lifting on statistics that the Excel output does not provide. Our topics also include dealing with nonlinear or what we might call curvilinear data. While we do not consider a lot of the different techniques, we do a little sampler of some of the nonlinear techniques. Our primary focus being on the power model since it's probably the most commonly used approach, and the power model is widely used in modeling quantity discount curves and learning curves. Our third major focus area is equations that have two or more cost drivers, what people often call multiple or multivariate regression. We'll look at things like correlation between the cost drivers, how the statistics are impacted by including a second cost driver, and how to choose the best equation among one or more cost drivers. All in all, 7410 has the coverage regression that students used to see if they'd taken both CON 270 and CON 370. All right, great, Steve. I love the detail you have here. It's going to really help potential students. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. Sounds like a pretty interesting class, especially if you want to learn all about regression analysis. So I'm assuming those are the type of students you're expected to see as a target audience for the course, correct? That's correct. Uh, I think you'll find that the FAR lists parametric techniques, which includes everything really from factors to regression, under both cost and price analysis. And whether you're doing cost, price, or ideally cost and price analysis, this is a great course for you. And if you're a contracting officer or another functional specialist who's trying to better understand both the government and contractor basis of estimate on a proposal, you'll get some great insights. We're not going to make statisticians out of anyone, but the course gives you a good overview of the language, the application, and the interpretation of the subject. And we provide our students with a lot of great resources for both further study and refer back to down the road as they might have need. Well, sounds like an interesting and useful course, Steve. So how are students assessed in this course? Students are assessed on a pre-course assignment, on a group exercise, And then we have two quizzes, one on simple linear and the other on the nonlinear and the multiple regression. Thanks, Steve. Can a student sign up for just CON 7410 without signing up for the entire credential, which is uh, CCON 004? Absolutely. One of the benefits of having these specialized courses throughout our credentials is that an individual or their organization can design their training to fit their needs. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Steve. And we appreciate you coming back to the show today to discuss the regression analysis course, which again is under the umbrella of the quantitative methods credential. Thanks, Scott. I'm glad to do it. Awesome. Hey, folks, look for Steve. We've got one more segment with Steve where he's going to talk about another course, which is CON 7420V on learning curve analysis. That's all the time we have for today, but please, if you haven't already, subscribe to our Contracting Conversations channel. Type any comments below to include your questions for future discussions and spread the word of this channel to your peers and to those you supervise or lead. Let us help you answer their questions 
and we look forward to having future contracting conversations with you.